So we are here at Rafa's garage working on the Corolla again. A lot of maintenance and needs. Um, today I'm going to do the brakes. I think the brakes are gone already or the rotors. So I'm going to do both of them. I'm going to check them out. Um, so I'll just take off the wheels, lift it up real quick, and let's see how bad they are. So yeah, it looks like it's my brakes and I might need to cut these rotors or get new ones because I'm pretty sure I got to the metal part. Um, let me take them off and I'll show you guys. Oh, it should be fairly easy. You just got, I'm gonna do basically this big old 17s right here. Since I need to take out the calipers and this whole thing should come off and I'm able to take out the brakes. So this one's done. Brakes don't look that bad on this side. It's the other side that sounds bad. This one's being a pain in the butt. Um, Cause I couldn't get a bolt here. I needed a short one. I ended up taking this one, just give me a little bit more room. But I got it. So this one was a lot easier. They were not that tight, but like I said, you see, I need brakes. These were uneven, I don't know why, but I'm gonna cut those rotors. Hopefully I am able to cut them. Cut those, get new brakes, and put them on. Should be really easy. On my way to take the rotors, something new that I didn't know, O'Reilly's cut some for 15 bucks a piece. So, pretty convenient. So that's where I'm heading at. So there they are. Nice and cut. Those are the bricks I'm putting. I ended up cutting them or something new that I didn't know. You cut them at O'Reilly's. Only takes like an hour, 15 bucks each a piece, so 30 bucks. This is the other one. So yeah, gotta go back, install them, call it a day. So we're back now. On these, these are directional. This is gonna be the driver's side and this is gonna be the passenger side. I gotta compress this and then um, put in the new brake pads that are right there. I don't know why these guys are over here today, but yeah, let's start doing it. So ran into a problem on the other side. That's why I was taking a while. Um, these right here on one of them, it's not going in. So it's supposed to be moving freely like that. That's what made it cause um, that caliper or that brake to be uneven on one side. And then, so I might need to get another of these for the junkyard. So I'm not gonna finish this job tomorrow until tomorrow. So I'm gonna finish this side. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave the other side ready so I could take it off and, you know, do my little thing. But, man, if it's not one thing, it's another thing, man. So this side is done. Now I gotta fix the other side. So figure out the problem on this side, why it was actually um, uneven. This one right here, this one, this little spring or whatever, shut tight. So um, need to replace that or replace the whole thing, whichever is easier for me. Um, if I have to get this, I'll just get it from the junkyard. And these, I probably get them from O'Reilly's or AutoZone. Um, so I'm gonna take it off again and seeing if how hard is it to take off um, The bottom one works the top ones the ones that's seized So there's my problem you see all this is gooey supposed to be greased up 
supposed to be able to slide it in and out with this it's never going to do that so i'm going to clean it up grease it up a little bit um and see if it works uh hopefully there's still not a lot more junk in here that way it's able to slide in and out but we'll see So there it is. See, I push on it. That's how it's supposed to be. Same thing with the bottom one. The bottom one's good. It was only this one that was messed up. So there you go. Now I don't have to go to a junkyard. I'm finish it off tonight. Just put on the wheel, drop it, call it a day. Oh, one thing before you do this um, tip. What's it called? Always put the bottom one first and then the top one. Makes it a lot easier. Um, last thing is always pump your, your brakes before you head out. Cause if not, you're not going to have brakes. So time to go for a test drive. 